down, falling, getting closer to the 300 mark. This following disappointing economic Hi. data, the Are U.S. trade wide? deficit deficit yeah. okay. widened in June to the highest level since October of 2008. The Commerce Department says trade gap jumped nearly 19% compared to May. Last check, the Dow was down 269 points at 10,378. NASDAQ down to oh, yeah. 78.22 on the Former Illinois Congressman Russell Kowski has died at the age of 82 at his Wisconsin home. Cause of death has not been disclosed. His death comes just days after former Alaska Senator Ted Stevens died in a plane crash. Both politicians left office in disgrace after convictions on corruption charges. Charges against Stevens were later dismissed. As NPR's Paul Brown reports, Russell Kowski was also a China the already ordered the program. So. Oh, okay. Dan Rostenkowski led an oh, effort okay. to rescue the Social Sorry. Security mm -hmm. system from insolvency in 1983. He pushed into a major overhaul the U.S. tax system in 1983. And he finally did it. He guilty of putting office funds to his own use. And hiring people who did little or no official work. After his 1996 in the November elections. Georgia Public Broadcasting's Melissa Stiers reports his opponent conceded a tight runoff race this morning. An endorsement from Sarah Palin was not enough to win the Republican contest for Georgia governor. Georgia's former Secretary of State Karen Handel brought the former vice presidential candidate to Atlanta to drive voters to the polls. The race was so close, no winner could be declared last night. But this morning, results show Nathan Deal is a couple of thousand votes ahead, so Handel has conceded the race. She says she will give her support to Deal to unite Georgia Republicans rather than ask for a recount as she's entitled to under Georgia law. Deal will face former 